it was pretty clear from watching your first match of the season that you've, you've really got a, a lot of potential on your pin hitters. How, tell me about your, your, your folks that are hitting the outsides. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got arguably three of the best pins in the country. Um, you know, they, they all bring something different to the floor. Uh, you know, Ebony was the national freshman of the year and, and transferred and sat out with an injury last year and now is getting healthy. Um, you know, she's a unique player. She's someone that can actually take over a match at a high level. Um, and she's been really developing, you know, in the backcourt defensively, and, and we're utilizing her not only in the front court but the backcourt, especially with the way our middle blocker sy system is right now. And then uh, Paulina is a fifth-year senior right now and has a lot of experience and playing at a, a much higher level in terms of managing her game and, and has, a, you know, one of the best arms in the country. And then Micaiah White um, is – you know, are going to be really special for us. I, I, you know, I think some of the set tempos and her swings last night weren't as good. They've been in practice gym, so I'm assuming that with time we'll get a lot better flow from her. But she's another one that can go over the block and, and do some great things for us. With these great pin hitters, but especially trying to uh, be able to set the opposite, you got to have some decent passing. And you got to have decent passing to be able to use these uh, middles, which are not quite the middles that you thought you'd do. What do you think of your passing this year? Well, I think it's in the practice gym it's been better. Um, you know, I think our numbers were not great last night, but I, I, you know this team with the, how good we are on the pins, we don't need to be pe perfect passing. You know, if we're passing five or six feet in the center of the court and getting balance with both pins and the speed of it, I think we can still be successful. Numbers-wise, we were really good last night on a two-option pass, um, but we need to be able to still find some more middles. I mean, the numbers that we had last night aren't enough. Uh, we know that it's a work in progress, but we're thinking towards December of how do we get a few more swings to our middles and keep teams up balance. Chaka is not with you this year. How did your team react? But more importantly, how did you as a coach decide to, to have them react and talk to them about it? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, coaching it never plans out like you want it to. I think one of the things is you got injuries some years, and this was an unfortunate situation with Chiaka. Uh, you know, my first thought was how to take care of Chiaka and, and how to make this a learning lesson for her and, and make sure that she knows that she's got support around her. We did that. Uh, we talked about what the process was, that how she wanted to be able to explain it to the team. You know, she brought her captains in and talked to them first, and you know, lots of emotions. Obviously, I mean, it's it's a tough thing to go through. And then we told the team, but the things that we met with our captains the night before is that this is like an injury. You know, somebody goes down, and you gotta you gotta deal with the situation and kind of keep moving forward. Uh, we know what the situation is, and it's unfortunate, but we've got enough personnel to be able to kind of um, continue to improve to put ourselves in a position to win. And you know, that's. They believed in that. They believe in themselves. I think they believe that they have got enough talent, which they do. And um, it's a big, big loss for us um, for many reasons. But, you know, we still got some very talented young ladies that with continued develop, we can, we can be a force. You are not shy and haven't been in previous years of scheduling other elite teams in the, um, of the early non-conference. Why? Why, why? why risk losses early? I, I don't know if, if we've had a lot of success and it's just given me some comfort to be able to go out and test our team and knowing that what we can do to, to be successful. But I think part of this is learning what your team is capable of. And when you play good teams, you're going to get exposed. And you're going to, the teams like tonight are going to expose some things that we haven't seen in our gym or haven't been able to do. And it's going to send us back to the, to the gym and, and learn the numbers and statistics, what we need to do and where we can get better at um, and how we can – you know, counteract that a little bit over a period of time. So we have things to work on for the whole season. And so um, I'm okay having a couple of losses uh, in the preseason. I think we refer back to 2012, we were pretty poor in the preseason. And we figured some things out and really got better. And by the end, we ended up winning. So I'm, I'm hoping that with the tough preseason, that it gets us ready. You know, we have some freshmen that we're always counting on, which is a big part of winning a national championship. And I think getting them exposed to these tough situations and being in these environments because when the NCAA tournament comes, the level obviously of the pressure goes up a little bit. So they've been in that kind of fire a little bit and, and feel confident about what they're doing.